What is up, YouTube? Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys my Wrathstone add-on guide for the Elder Scrolls Online. With every new patch I make, I always like to update this video and what add-ons I'm currently using at the time. You know, because as new chat as new patches come out, some add-ons break, some new things I try to add, but I always keep my UI relatively the same. But we're going to first go over all my add-ons and what they do and then after that we are going to move into the specific configurations i don't like to run a crazy amount of add-ons i like to try to keep things as light as possible uh just so that i can get the best game performance especially when i'm streaming so if you like a really efficient add-on selection that covers both pvp pve and just general stuff my add-on pack and my list of add-ons i think is going to work out very very well for you so let's just dive right into it, starting with the first add-on, and that is Action Duration Reminder, my main combat add-on. I don't like running AUI, LUI Extended. They all have a lot of stuff I really don't need, but Advanced, uh, excuse me, um, I'm like blanking on the name, Action Duration Reminder, covers me for combat. For those of you who don't know, it basically puts a number on my skill for how long I have left on it. So as you can see, I have 13 seconds left on volatile armor. So it shows on the scale itself when I'm on that bar. And then it shows on that little shift bar when I'm on the opposite one. And then it does that for a variety of skills. So you can see how long you have left before you might need to rebuff. It is my main, like I said, my main combat add-on. And I cannot recommend it enough, especially with how lightweight it is. We also have add-on selector, which is the reasoning that my add-on, like my add-on screen looks this way. I cannot possibly recommend this add-on enough. It makes switching between add-ons, like turning them on and off, incredibly quick. Um, especially me, I do PvE DPS, I do tanking, I do resource farming, I do selling, I, I do PvP. So I do a lot of different things, and I have different packs created. One for Cyrodiil, one for Harvest Map, one for Master Merchant, one for PvE, and one for tanking. Uh, so I'll go over the specifics of those add-on packs later, but this basically just allows you to create add-on packs which loads and unloads add-ons and then whenever you choose the pack that you want you just hit reload ui and you're pretty much good to go uh the next add-on that we have i actually have uh everything enabled right now the next add-on that we have is advanced member tooltip this is what i use for managing my guild um it lets me see how long someone has been in the guild as well as their total deposits and withdrawal so if you are a guild master that's a really really good add-on uh, we also have assist rapid riding, which basically will slot rapids onto your bars, and then you can use rapids, and then it'll unslot it. It's really helpful for Cyrodiil and just moving around the map in general. We have champion point respec, which is like dressing room for champion points. It allows you to save and load CP configurations. So I have one for PvE, one for PvP, and then I can load and save those as I would want to. Uh, very, very helpful, especially if you play multiple builds. We also have combat metrics. It's shown up in the top left corner. Uh, it's through your basic DPS add-on shows you your you know is what you people use for parses on target dummies. You can use to see how much damage or healing you do in a certain fight. It's incredibly helpful for PVE. We also have dark UI, which is what gives my user interface this night mode. Uh, it is a wonderful add-on. Makes ESO look a lot cleaner, and I highly recommend it. We also have Dolgobun's Lazy Rit Creator. I'll actually go showcase this right now. Dolgobun's Lazy Rit Creator allows you to create writs extremely fast and just very, very brainless. It's just with a couple clicks, you've done your writs for the day. It Honestly, I wasn't really even doing my writs before I started downloading this add-on because it just makes the whole process way easier and way quicker and is good for people who are lazy with their writs. So, when you walk up to your writ board, you just click it, it pulls all the writs off the writ board, you go up to a table, you can see I haven't done my clothing writs, so it's red, you click it and it says, crafting will use 39 answers or so, with 77 available, and then you just click craft, let it do its thing, and just like that, your writs are done. Simple as that. I'll go do my other writs later, but I just wanted to showcase that add-on. We also have dressing room. Dressing room is what I use for saving my gear profile or my uh, gear and skill profiles. It's an absolutely amazing add-on. It's what allows me to save, uh, you know, PvP builds, PvE builds, VMA builds, and you can save gear 
and skill loadout so you can just click you know you save these then you can just click set one and it'll load up all this i can click set two and it'll load up all this so it makes it really easy especially if you play multiple builds to switch seamlessly between them the next thing that we have is harvest map so basically whenever i go around the map and loot a node it will leave a little marker on that node so that the next time i am maybe going into that zone to farm i can see that boom i've either you know mined something here or gathered something here so incredibly helpful for those of you who like to farm uh, raw materials we also have inventory insight which allows me i recently added this after a couple of uh times that i misplaced some some stuff so this allows me to search between my characters search to see who has what gear so if i want to see who's currently has spinners i can see there's a spinners ring over on my sork there's spinners breaches in my bank so it just allows you to kind of see where all of your gear is and you can in all your items so you can just kind of search and see where everything is very very helpful just recently added that one we also have map pins, which basically replace the whole Destination Sky Shards lore book suite. So it shows various things on the map. If you go to your filters here, you can sort what you want on the map. There's a lot of different options. I think some of these, I think some new options may have been added with Harvest Map. Um, because the I don't remember seeing some of these before. Uh, but Harvest Map basically just allows you to put a, a variety of pins on your map. And you can just check and uncheck the ones that you want to see or, or don't care about. But I just run that add-on instead of the whole group that I used to run. We also have Master Merchant, which will display uh, merchanting information on items. So you can see uh, what you should sell or purchase this item for. As you can see, these Ancestor Silk Shoes would go for 103 gold based off of seeing four sales in my guilds. This does pull from the guilds that you are in. So I would recommend being in like two trading guilds to get a, a, a rough idea of what items are really sell or and be and be purchased for one guild might not apply, supply enough data uh, but i prefer master merchant over ttc myself we also have multi craft which allows you to create multiple things especially if we're talking like potions and stuff uh i run into that issue where i need to make some potions and i have to just smash the potion button a gabillion times so if you come into here you can create uh multiple different potions at once so see you can go up as many as you want um so it just allows you to exactly as it sounds multi-craft the next add-on that we have is raid buffs raid buffs shows whenever you are in a dungeon fighting a boss it shows certain buffs or debuffs that the boss may have specifically for debuffs so i use this when i'm tanking so i like to see if there's alkosh uptime i like to see if there's crusher uptime and you could also change it to dps if you want to you could also change it to tank which is what i primarily use it for um but it helps you i think track it helps you track some of your um debuff uptimes really really well when you're tanking we also have raid notifier which is your gold standard trials add-on it tells you when certain things are happening it helps you just track everything that's going on within a trial so i highly recommend it we also have untaunted which is a tanking add-on and shows your taunt durations on various mobs that you have taunted highly recommend it we also have yurik skill point finder um i actually don't remember what i have this bound to so let me let me uh find this uh, okay, so Yurik Skill Point Finder is exactly what it sounds like. Helps you find the skill points that you need or have done. So if you need to grab some skill points, this will uh, this will help you find ones that you haven't acquired yet. So very, very helpful if you need to farm skill points. We also have Votan's Keybinder, which will make keybinds account-wide, which is super, super nice. You can check this to make keybinds account-wide. Very helpful, especially if you play multiple characters. We also have Votan's minimap, which is that minimap on the right side of my screen. And then finally, we also have Votan's search box, which puts a little magnifying glass that you can click in your bags. And you can search things and help find stuff in your bag. Very, very, very helpful. All right, so that is my current list of add-ons, the add-ons that I'm currently running. Uh, when I run all these at the same time, game lags a little bit. Uh, so I'll show you my add-on packs first things first. So the packs that I, the packs that I run, for the uh for the add-on selector when i run cyrodiil i use action duration reminder the add-on selector assist rapid writing champion point respec dark ui dressing room 
Votons minimap and Voton search box. I turn everything else off because I want just the most like clean experience possible when I'm in Cyrodiil. Harvest map, I enable basically everything except for Master Merchant. Master Merchant, I enable everything except for Harvest Map because Master Merchant and Harvest Map are both very memory intensive add-ons. So I only really try to run one of them at a time. Um, and when I'm PvEing, I run neither of them. So it's again, they, they take up a lot of space. I recommend not having them enabled unless you absolutely need them. So this is like my DPS pack. So I have Untaunted unchecked, Raid Buffs unchecked, Master Merchant and Harvest Map unchecked. And then when I tank, I just basically enable Raid Buffs and Untaunted. In terms of the libraries, not gonna lie. I don't know where some of these libraries came from. Some came with some add-ons, some I had to download separately. Um, so basically when you get all of your add-ons, uh, and you download them, it will download some libraries, but you're going to see if you if you download the add-on, and it's, it's going to come up, like, especially Votons add-ons, they're, they're notorious for this. It's going to come up red. Just click a drop-down menu, and it'll tell you what libraries you still need to download, and you can download those from Minion. And if you don't know how to use Minion, I have an entire guide dedicated on my channel. Just search how to install add-ons on my YouTube channel, and you will get an updated guide to show you how to properly use Minion to update, your ad to update and install your add-ons. So let's now move into what my settings are. I get asked about my settings constantly. So we're going to go into my base game settings as well as my add-on settings. And you're going to notice they really haven't changed much from last patch. Uh, again, we have combat cues on, custom colors on. He's a very light green and a very bright pink. I turn off double tap to dodge because I use a single click to dodge. Ground target range lock on, prevent attacking innocence on, quick gas ground abilities on. Consolidate area loot on, auto loot on, auto that's crap back on, loot history on, and the default soul gems are crown gems. Uh, camera, I basically haven't changed. Interface, I prefer user ID. I uh, have all this stuff turned on. I don't run chat bubbles, and I also turn on my frame rate and latency frame rate and latency, as well as lock those at the bottom left. In terms of my nameplates, I turn that on, leave the settings default, turn health bars on, settings default. Uh, and then I didn't really touch anything with the alliance indicators. Social, I turned off the profanity filter. I also turned off leaderboard and auto uh, leaderboard notifications. I found those annoying. ABA announcements I left as automatic, auto decline duels off. And then you can feel free to sort your uh, guild colors and social colors and whatnot as you like. For combat, I have ability bar, always show. Attribute bars, always show. Resource numbers, number and percent. Active combat tips, automatic. Ultimate number on. Combat text, I turn on and leave as default. Buffs and debuffs, I always show, but I only use target debuffs. I only use target debuffs. For my self buffs, I use action duration reminder. Uh, so I really only care about my target debuffs. Now, in terms of my add-ons, for action duration reminder, I have account-wide configuration on, multi, multiple target tracking on, and then move the sh to move the shift bar, okay? Because when you default, use this, okay? You're going to use volatile armor, for example. You're going to bar swap, and this is going to bump up your health bar. And I found that incredibly annoying when it happened over and over again. So I moved my shift bar, dragged it up, and locked it into place. Uh, we also have assist rapid riding. I have this on ability slot 5. Enable auto switch, mounting and dismounting on. Revert when skill is used on. Reswitch when effect fades on. Uh, and that's basically it. Champion point respec. I just left default. Combat metrics. I have a fight history of 5. Saved fight memory of 10. Uh, keep boss fights off. Uh, delete trash fights before deleting boss fights when limit number 5. So I actually should probably turn this on, actually. It's a really good setting. I turned that on. <laughs> Monitor group damage on. Monitor damage in large groups on. Show stacks and buffs on. Light mode off. Cyrid turn off and Cyrodiil on. Light mode and Cyrodiil on. Auto select channel on. Um, and then everything else. I turned on the live report window. That's what shows in the top left. So I dragged that there and then locked it. Use the compact layout, 195. Um, and then I have show DPS on, HPS on, show incoming DPS on, incoming HPS on, and show time on. Everything else is off. Dark UI, pretty much just left default. Dressing room, I do a two by two what, because I have four builds for this guy. So I just change this based off of how many builds I run on a character. Uh, I just don't like, like, I don't like people, like, 
I don't know. I see some people when they use dressing room, they'll have like two builds, but they'll have like eight slots of, of sets. And I don't know, me, I like to keep things really clean. So if I only have four builds, I'm going to use four slots. If I have two builds, I'll use two slots. So just adjust the rows and columns as you like. Unequip empty gear slots on, clear empty skill slots on, um, and then set skill set buttons for active bar only on. Harvest map didn't change anything. Um, I just left it default. Inventory insight. I personally turned off every single time where that it'll open. I got annoyed or it opened it automatically. I want to open it myself. So basically what I did was I set a keybind for it in the add-on keybinds to all to automatically open uh, inventory insight. So it doesn't automatically open on itself all the time. Lazy writ creator. The first time you go to a writ, you grab your writs and go to a writ station, it will auto ask you like, hey, do you just want to use the default settings? And that's what I did. Limb group socket came with something. Still don't know what add-on it came with, but I have it. <laughs> so I have it off, on, on. I, I don't know. Don't really know what this does. I have it, so bada bing. Master merchant. Uh, I have open with mail on, open with store on, full sale price on, 120, 14, 23,000. I haven't messed with these settings in a long time. Show pricing information on, pricing history graph on. Uh, crafting cost info on, show stack price calculator on, ignore outlier prices on, uh, verbose messages on, account wide settings on, pros antique is the window font, and that's pretty much it, I believe. I don't think I really changed anything else. Raid notifier, I leave, I basically left default, but the big thing that you're going to want to change is kind of like on a trial by trial basis and kind of what your raid leader wants. So the most common thing that you'll do is you will change these things to full. I've done that instead of like normal or minimal. I change it to full so that it shows everything. But your raid leader will specifically show you during a trial if he wants you to change anything. Raid buffs. I basically left this default, I believe. Uh, yeah, I didn't didn't really didn't really change anything. Uh, uh let me see. Oh yeah, so I kind of changed the tracking preset. I changed based on my character. So when I made my tank. I changed this tracking preset to tank so that it only shows the buffs or the debuffs on my t on my target relative to like what I'm playing. So like I don't care about the DPS debuffs when I'm tanking. You know, I will care about my taunt, my my uh, fracture in breach, and uh, Alkosh. So I selected tank. On taunted, um, I moved this over here. It's 230, 25, 15. Uh, only player effects on, track taunt on, everything else I have turned off. Otherwise, you're going to get a shit load of things shown. I also believe I actually missed an add-on, speaking of this. Um, I'm actually missing an add-on. Hold on. Where did it go? <laughs> uh, so I actually should have installed Can I Horn? Um... Can I, can I Horn will basically show you if you can Warhorn or not. Um, I left that as default as well, but I am going to, to find and reinstall that add-on. Um, and then for Yurik's skill point finder, I just left that as default. Finally, we have Votan's minimap. I turned uh, minimap on, world map tweaks on, uh, show and HUD on, on. I have basically all of this on except for asynchronous update I have off. Now, I get asked about this every single time I make a video on Votan's minimap. If you want to make the minimap smaller and move it, turn off lock position and size, resize it, move it around, come back into this menu, and turn this on again when you're done. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so I have the ESO style, keyboard bold, medium, this beige color, top, off, on, on, off, 12-hour minimap hidden, uh, untouched, off. Voton search bar, I just left default. But that is basically it, my friends. My add-ons shown. Like I said, I did miss Can I Horn in my list. Um, it will just show a little piece of green text up here showing you if you can Warhorn or not. Um, I basically will only use that when I play my tank uh, because my tank has Warhorn slotted. So that's when I care about if I can or cannot use Horn because I don't want to overlap my Warhorn up times. But that 
is all my add-ons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would appreciate if you slapped a like on it. Any questions about my add-ons, please leave a comment below. Remember, if you are gonna ask how do I install add-ons, please go to my YouTube channel and search that guide. I have an entire guide dedicated to it, so go check that out. And if you guys like this video and want to keep up with my ESO content, please hit that sub button as well as hit the bell to make sure that you're keeping notifications on. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next one.